All right, guys. Guess it's time that I join in the discussion. I switched from my nine millimeter back to a 45. Yep, it's time for that debate again. Let's get to it. Welcome to another episode on Northwoods Exploration. As always, my name is Jeremy. And in today's episode, I am finally going to enter the fray, I suppose, of the 9mm versus 45 debate. Well, not really, because I don't give a rip which you carry. 9mm is good, 45 is good, 40 is good. Just don't carry a 380. I lose respect for you then. But that's a whole other discussion. So yeah, what spurred on this uh, video is that I recently switched back to carrying my Glock 30. For those of you who are not in the know, the Glock 30 is the uh, compact 45 ACP. It's a double stack, 10 plus one. Um, this is actually one of the very first guns I ever purchased. This was my first carry gun, and I've had this gun longer than any other in my collection. Now, why did I stop carrying it? Because the thing's a dead gum boat anchor. That's primarily why. Uh, it weighs a ton. Uh, I mean, you got 11 plus one, and then on top of that, usually I carry two additional Glock 21 mags. Uh, those are two full size 13 round 45 ACP double stack mags. And um, yeah, that's a lot of weight. And in my day in and day out life, uh, I needed something smaller, something lighter, and frankly, with the um, improvements in 9mm ammunition, I really feel like uh, that uh, the technology has come a long way. It's come far enough that uh, my 40 Smith & Wesson is rather obsolete, frankly. And here's why. Let, let's talk about the math for a second. So your average 24, 124 grain nine millimeter round is going to get plus or minus and don't rip me in the comments because i know there's variation on this but on average you're going to get about 380 foot pounds of energy coming out of that muzzle with a 124 grain nine millimeter round approximately 380 foot pounds of energy uh, by contrast you're probably only going to get about 400 to 420 out of a 40 caliber. So I really haven't carried my 40 Smith & Wesson in quite some time. On the other hand, with a 45 ACP on average, you're going to get about 550 foot-pounds of energy. Uh, that's an increase, by the way, of almost 70%. Okay, now, now I want to be clear. I don't care if you want to carry a nine millimeter. I will still carry a nine millimeter. If I need a low profile gun that's going to be lightweight, uh, I will still carry my Glock 43X. I still absolutely love my Glock 19. And yes, depending on the situation, you may even find my Glock 17 on my hip while I am out bushcrafting in the woods. However, there is just something about the 45 ACP that I love. It's a larger round, it's a heavier round. Uh, I've seen firsthand what the 45 ACP can do, that's a story for another time. But ultimately when it comes down to it, I like the 45 ACP. Uh, is it as easy to shoot? No, it's not. But I've got uh, almost 20 years of experience with, with the Glock 30. So. I'm very comfortable with it. What about the weight? Well, I have a sturdy belt for a reason from uh, Blue Alpha. So I have the things I need to be able to carry the gun, and I've worked with the gun. This is probably the most broken in trigger on any handgun that I have. When it comes down to it, though, 
am I going to say that 9mm is obsolete, that I don't want to carry 9mm? No, not at all. I still absolutely love my Glock 19 and I will still carry it. I have a Streamlight TLR 7A TAC light on it. If I'm going to be out in the woods at night, do I have a holster You know, for my Glock 30 uh, that has the ability to put a TAC light on it? Nope. So I will still carry my Glock 19. Same thing with my 17, same thing with my 43X. It's not that I don't like 9mm, so don't give me any stupid comments uh, uh, down below, okay? What I'm trying to get to in this video, and what I'm trying to get across, I should say, is that what you carry is your choice. Some of you are going to look at this and say, oh man, Jeremy, what a loss, man. Like, the 9mm is awesome. And other people are going to be like, no, 45 ACP only. The only American bullet, right? Well, why does that matter so much? The reason why I'm talking about this is not because I want to debate the merits and demerits of 9mm versus 45. I got on here because I look at this as a discussion between me and you guys on the channel. Uh, some of you may carry 40s, some may carry 45s, some may carry 9s. Like I said, just don't carry a 380, okay? Just, just spare me. Spare me the excuses, okay? Anyway, outside of a 380... I really think that uh, what I mean, even with a 380, I guess, if I'm being honest and serious about it, a 380. If that's what you want to carry, that's 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 cool. That's fine. Not my preference though. But ultimately, that's what it comes down to. Why am I switching to a 45 ACP from a nine millimeter? Well, first of all, I'm changing jobs, so I don't need to worry about the weight of the gun all that much. I've got proper belts and proper gear to be able to keep my pants pulled up when I'm carrying the gun. So first and foremost, uh, you know, with uh, my job changing, I don't have to worry about weight in a backpack or something like that. It's not that big of a deal. Another reason why I'm changing also is I'm spending more time in the woods and I'm also running across more and more predators. Predator, I have seen mountain lion tracks out there. You still see and hear wolves periodically. But the bears this year, I, I don't know why they are more active, but it just seems like they are a lot more active than what they used to be. But the bottom line is a 45 ACP is going to create a larger wound channel. I'm very comfortable with the gun that I'm carrying chambered in 45 ACP as well. So ultimately when it comes down to it, it is my preference, it is my choice. I have trained with the gun, I am comfortable with the gun. I love the ballistics of the 45 ACP, and when it comes down to it, my day in and day out life, I don't really have to worry about the size or weight of the firearm. So, whatever reasons you choose to carry a 45, a 40, a nine, whatever, they're your choice based upon your preferences, your training. And like I said, the whole reason I'm making this video is not to have a debate about 9mm versus 45. When it comes down to it, I switch because this is what I want to carry. And it just, I don't know, I, I guess I just wanted to get on here and speak to the foolishness of the argument. Yeah, okay, ballistically, is there a difference? Well, definitely, there's a huge difference. But when it comes down to it, if you can't fire a handgun chambered in 45 ACP, don't try. Unless you're going to train. If you shoot a 9mm, great, then cool beans. If you shoot a 40, awesome. If you shoot a 45, great, more of the same. But ultimately, when it comes down to it, it's your preference and your choice. And this whole debate over 9mm versus 45 is absolutely ridiculous. You could take 10 shots with a 45 ACP, miss all of them. It's not going to do you any good. You could take one shot with a 9mm and hit your target and stop it. You've done your job. You've done what you needed to do to keep you and your family safe. So, with that, guys, I'm going to bring this video to a close. I appreciate the comments, uh, the likes, the new subscriptions. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to share and like uh, this video. Also, continue subscribing. Don't forget, to, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. I've got more diving videos on the way. I'm still working on my uh, documentary 
on the shipwrecks of Schwamigan Bay. But I'm also, I've also got some bushcrafting videos coming out. I'm gonna have more diving videos coming out soon. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit uh, the uh, notification bell because there's gonna be a lot of new content coming to the channel in the coming days and weeks. So anyway guys, as always, come join the adventure and I'll catch you next video. Take care guys, bye.